Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm super excited. We're here this morning at the Ocala RV show and we're gonna take a look at some of the awesome travel trailers we have. And I've been getting a lot of feedback from you guys that you like when I feature other salespeople in the video just to get other the, the other people's opinions and spin on the show. And that's what makes it so fun about this. So with me to start the day is Miss Bailey. Hi Howdy, Miss Bailey. How's it going? Rocking and rolling. Awesome. How are you? I'm great. I'm what do you want to say? So Take this excited. moment. We're going to see the RVs in a second, but this is your moment. What do you want to say to the world? Oh, I want to say that I'm so excited to be here. It's been an amazing show so far. Yesterday yep. was awesome, and yep. it's a beautiful day to find an RV. Perfect. Let's get started with the Sundance. What can you tell me about it? Okay, so this unit is perfect if you've got a big family, lots of kids. Um, it's a bunkhouse, sleeps nine. Um, let's look at it. So look at this huge awning. Yes, something that I'm noticing right off the bat. I love the solid steps, but most manufacturers Oh, nope, those only have, um, not like that. But most manufacturers, they'll have the solid steps and then the fold-up steps. This is giving you the double solid steps. I love that. Yes, easy to walk up and down, solid. This awning is awesome because you also get your outdoor kitchen. Wow, so look at that. So you're at the campground and you're cooking out, everyone can be under the awning. Yes. You got your outdoor grill right here. Yes. And then a big fridge too for all your drinks and everything like that for the kids. Absolutely, for your beers, yes. cold beers and water. <laughs> Something that I'm yes. a huge fan of in this type of layout, I love how there's a door to the bathroom on the outside. Yes. So if it's yes. muddy and wet, people aren't tracking mud and dirt inside the RV. Exactly. Let's go inside and yes. take a look. All right. What store do you work out of? I'm out of the Tampa store. Awesome. Okay. Look how much room wow. you have in here. If you got a big family, you want the big space. Yep. We have a nice bedroom up front with a door, so you do have your own privacy. A little bit of privacy from the kids. Um, this ceiling is actually curved. Yeah, so Bailey's tall, six foot three, and she still has a ton of headroom. <laughs> if you're super tall, it gives you a lot more head space. Yes, very and nice. Check out this bunk room. Something that I'm seeing that I already like is that there is a door yes. to shut the bunk yes. room. So the kids can have their own little area when wow. you're done for the day with all of your adventures and you kind of need a break from them. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. Yes. It's a nice storage, a ladder to get up top. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. I was about to say the only thing I didn't see was entertainment, but that's oh, where you would right mount it there, right there. Right there. Very cool. So uh, what else are you selling this weekend at the show? So we've got passports and we've also got Wildwoods and some tracers. Let's take a look at the next one. All right, let's go. We are on our way. If you guys, you guys don't know this, off camera, Bailey was a little nervous to do this. <laughs> I told her a Kuna Matata. A little, a little she's nervous. She's like, she's like, what if I mess up? And I'm like, good, that would make good content. Exactly, exactly. So what's the next one? Okay, so we got Tracer here and we have a passport. Let's right take a look here. at this passport. So it's a 287RL. Yeah, so this is a rear living, perfect couples coach, perfect. You've got two awnings. Yes. So it covers the whole coach for when you're outside grilling or just after a long day, you know, just hanging out. Yeah. No, that's a great point yeah. about the two awnings. A lot of times in a floor plan like this, you'll have the awning on the unit, but on the slide out, a lot of manufacturers try to save money by not putting that awning yes. there. Yes. Also, this is super lightweight, 6,800 pounds, and it gives you a kitchen island. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at the inside. Again with the solid steps. Uh-huh. So this one has the table and chairs wow. and the recliners right in front of the TV. Wow, very nice. Very nice. Nice kitchen yes. right here. Yes. Theater seats, sofa. Again with the curved ceiling. Right. Perfect for if you're super tall like my dad. <laughs> He's 6'5", so... Oh, wow. He is tall. <laughs> and then back here, we do have your master bedroom. Okay. And your bath. Wow, look at that. Hold this, Bailey. This is a huge shower. This is like a 36 by 36 shower. I actually was not expecting this. This is bigger than most motorhome showers, which I don't expect big showers in an ultralight trailer. That's very nice. <laughs> Keep on keeping on. Right. 
So what's the next one? Next one we got Tracer, which is a rear bathroom. Yes. Really nice. Very nice. What I love about this is how small it is. Yes. But the bathroom is normally huge. Exactly, exactly. So you got a lot of room there. Um, you still got your outdoor grill right there as well. Mm-hmm. And still a big awning. They've been putting huge awnings on it. It's great. I'm a fan of that. Great. Let's check out the inside. Okay. Look how big this dinette is. A nice big U-shaped dinette. So many people can sit there comfortably. Open and concept. How much counter space. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. Look at all of this. That Perfect. is huge. Yes. I have not seen counter. That is very big countertop space. You got your TV right there, single AC unit. And what I like is that there's no separation in here. Yes. If you want separation, that's totally fine. This isn't the unit for you. But if you want small, without having that wall there, it's big, open, and airy. Yes, perfect. Then this bathroom back here. Okay, good toilet position. It does look plastic. <laughs> so we'd have to swap that out. Nice corner radius shower. And yeah, I mean, I like the light colors, you know. Everybody knows this Primetime is one of my favorite brands. Mm -hmm. And did you know that we sell Primetime at all 13 of our locations? I didn't know that. Actually. Well, now we do. <laughs> and something that I like for the most part, uh, Primetime likes to stick with Furion Electronics yes. for the most part. Yes. Which I like because it's a convenience factor. It's not Magic Chef, Sam Sui, exactly. Furion, this brand. It's all the same. They got the Furion air conditioning. Looks like they did Fury on everything except the TV, no big deal, and except the fridge. But everything else was Fury on in this model. Right. Cool. All right. Another passport and another tracer, and then we got Wildwood down there. So, hey, Cheyenne, we're coming for you yeah. on the Wildwoods. Okay. Let, we're going to take a look at these two. This is a newer floor plan, a 229RK. Now this yes. isn't a normal Passport, it's a Passport SL. Yes. It's a little bit lighter. A little bit lighter. I think it is. Maybe it's a regular Passport. No, it's Passport SL. Mm -hmm. Cool. Check out this outdoor storage right here and it's enclosed. Oh wow. See how yep. solid that is? Huge. Electric Huge. stabilizing jacks, two axles going mm -hmm. inside. Mm, no solid steps. Womp, womp. <laughs> so this has a rear kitchen. Yes, very unique and nice floor very plan. different floor plan. I haven't really seen one like this. To yep, be yep. And again, it's nice. I mean, you're getting theater seats. You know, you're getting this awkward but nice kitchen set up. Uh, it's kind of like a two-part kitchen. Yep. Very nice right here. And you still get your recliners, though, in a smaller smaller size trailer yep yep exactly this is for the person who wants small who wants lightweight but yes. still does want a sofa and a dinette exactly and exactly. that bedroom back there look at how big that opening is yep. so nice cool and we got right. one more one more let's go the this tracer is a, this is a bunk model okay so perfect again like the first one for your family but for smaller families for smaller yep Even if sometimes grandparents want to buy one for their grandkids too and stuff like that yep so this exactly is a, bit of a smaller one um so it's perfect for that one. you know what i've been seeing is a lot of as you said parents or grandparents yeah. are buying units like this because that first bunk house 35 percent of the rv was dedicated to the bunk room yes whereas this trailer only 10 percent exactly. is and that can convert a storage as well right right you got a whole bunch of storage under there too. Yeah, really nice. Okay, so look, so this is what I'm talking about. We're in another Tracer Furion fridge. Yep. Furion everything. I really, really like that feature. Um, no TV in here, no big deal. And you still get a little bit of separation from the bedroom. I you hate still, these doors, personally. You still close it though. I, I'm not a fan. <laughs> Everybody knows that, but it is A-OK. -okay. Yeah. You know, this gets and the job done. Have a seat in Holy the, smoke. Yes. That's another huge shower. Right. What are these trailer manufacturers doing? It's like they're <laughs> starting to listen to customers or something. Wow, very nice. 
Well, Bailey, thank you so much for showing us around. Thank you. Where can somebody find you this weekend? Right here. At the Ocala RV <laughs> Show. At the Ocala RV Show. Make sure you stop by. You yes. say hi to Bailey. Please if you want to buy something, me. Bailey promises to get you the best price in the country. Of course I will. Burr, burr, burr. Of course. Thanks, Bailey. Thank you. There's Cheyenne. Hey, Matt. Rocking and rolling. You ready to show us a Wildwood? Absolutely. All right. Well, first, here's your moment. My moment? Do you want to say something to America? Oh my goodness. So get out there and get camping. Yes. What better time than today? Get out here and get camping. Get out here and get camping. This yes. is the last, what, show of pretty much our area, right? Pretty For much. Season. Yeah, exactly. So what's this, going on right here? This is a Forest River Wildwood Heritage Glen. Yes. It's like a couple's coach, right? So yes. a lot of people come in looking for this because it has a huge east-west bed in the back. Uh-huh. Right? Yep. But outside we have this um, little kitchen in the front, right? So plenty of space to put your beers or waters. Whatever yep. you prefer, a little place to cook. You have a 50 watt solar panel up top too. So already? Yeah, it's already up there. Your 30 watt controllers on the other side. Uh huh. So huge power awning all the way across the front. Yep. Marine grade speakers. Yep. And then hidden behind our show price sign here is uh -huh. actually like a little mount to clip your TV. Very cool. So the TV that's inside, you can totally walk down your stairs and clip it out here. Yep. Now, everybody on the show has seen this unit a couple weeks ago. Bruce Trevine helped us do this video. And, um, it's, it's very unique because, one, the Wildwood Heritage Glen is competing directly against the Rockwood and Flagstaff, which is very popular. But this is a front kitchen, which used to be big, then it wasn't big, now it's big again. Correct. So show us what's going on on the inside. Awesome. So beautiful solid steps here. Yes, and it even has a place for you to leash up your dog. So Matt, what most people notice when they walk in here, like you said, it was a floor plan that was in and then kind of went out. Yep. There's no island taking up your space when you walk in here. Wow. So normally there's a huge island right here in the front. So mm -hmm. all of this countertop space for prep area, huge window that you can look out whenever you're doing dishes or yes. cooking. Yes. So a lot of people like that aspect. They hooked you up with a Furion matching set here. So we love Furion. Oven, cooktop, and your microwave here. Tons of storage. I love that these cabinets are on little strut systems, so you don't even have to hold that up. You can yep. just load all your goodies in there. Yep, it makes me mad when people don't use struts. Isn't that crazy? It's it is. It's a little thing, but it helps out so much. It's the biggest little thing, for the sure. The biggest little thing. This is actually cooling right now, because like I said, we have solar. So. Yeah, it's a compressor fridge, yep. Awesome. So, oh wait, so that's working off the solar right now? It's working off solar right now. Damn. Isn't that crazy? We figured that out yesterday. And is that the Thomas Paine collection? It is the Thomas Paine collection. Very cool. I love it because it has the rip cord though, so you can just sit right down and pull the core and you're good to go it's kind of like your parachuting <laughs> exactly you have a really big tv right there with a it's fireplace a jensen too so matching jensen stereo system okay tv okay very cool you got your electric fireplace in here yep and then if you turn around matt so your seating area you got this awesome little bench here that actually has a hidden storage oh wow and then your two chairs over on that side perfect and then your bedroom is like the key point to this i feel like for the couple's coach huge king bed in its own slide like i mentioned earlier uh -huh. and then this is crazy extended trips you have a whole washer and dryer closet back here a travel trailer prepped for a stackable washer and dryer are you kidding or is that crazy that's insane hold on because when you open this side it doesn't take away from your actual closet too. wow so you have this whole space over here for storage that's so amazing you window, so you got natural light in there you can actually see when you're getting ready in the morning yes Built-in dresser with oh, a cute little laundry hamper. Very nice. Out of the way. King size bed. King size bed in its own slide out. And you have two little nightstands. So if you have a machine or phones or anything that you need to put there, you've got plenty of space. Perfect. And then double, actually like triple entry into the bathroom, right? No, no, double. Double? One entry, two entry. Oh, it's like a circle though, right? Yes, it's a circle. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so plenty of space to do everything you need to do in here. Beautiful skylight. You actually very, do have a lot of storage in here. Very, very nice trailer. A little bit pricey, but you're paying for the quality. You're paying for quality, absolutely. Yep. Perfect. You want to show us the next unit? Yeah. So we have another Wildwood Heritage Glen over here. It's a 273. This one's a rear living model, so a okay. little bit different. Okay. It says 271, Cheyenne. Why are you, so why are you lying to the American people? <laughs> Don't lie to us. My bad. It's early, guys. It's okay. So tons of storage up here in the front. Yes. A little bit different from the last layout. Yes. Nice solid steps up here in the front. Okay. Little hook to put your doggy so Fido doesn't run away on you while you're outside. Yuna is our dog's name, not Yuna. Fido. 
Yuna. Well, other people have dogs too, Matt. Yeah, but Yuna's, <laughs> Yuna's my number one. Aw, so sweet. I did see your dog. Yes. She's fluffy and amazing. She'll be here at the show sometime this weekend. Is she coming? Yep, awesome. yep. Same at TV prep that you have over there on the okay. other wall that we were looking at. Yep. You have double awnings this I time. I love the double awnings. Me too. So, so nice. They didn't waste your space. They put yep. the second one on the slide out, so you yep. actually have that coverage out there. Very cool. Big graph handles too. Did you take a peek at those? those I did, awesome. yes. So we have an island in here. I know we talked about an island in the last one, but we have opposing slides now, right? So Huge that difference. Opens it up way bigger, right? Yes. Theater seating on this side, you still have the same nice pull cords that you had in the last one. Uh huh. And then you have a trifold over here. So it, it is a couple's coach, but if you had grandkids that came or another couple that came for a night or a weekend, they have a place to stay. And it's an adult size sleeping area. It's not a jackknife sofa. Exactly. So same setup kind of as the last one with the Jensen. We do have a Westinghouse up here. Wah, wah, not matchy. <laughs> it doesn't match, but. Yep. Hey, hey okay. that, that's the market that we're in. Manufacturers are grabbing what they can. Correct. We got to keep building these, right? Yep. So this side, we actually have a ton of prep space. Sometimes when they give you an island, it's like all sink, but you have yep. a lot of space over here to prep. And then over here, you have a ton of space also. Wow. They set us up with the Furions. We do have yeah. the matching Furions still. like the Furions. This fridge is actually cooling too, so we've good. got solar up top also. Good, Another good. Another 50 watt panel. Nice radius roof as well. Table and that. chairs. I like that they put a little skylight here too. It opens it up a little bit. And just the amount of natural light that it lets in is super awesome. Exactly. Little coffee bar station over here. Yep. They really do have a ton of storage too. They really, really do. Let's check out the bathroom. Pretty standard bathroom, but you actually have storage space in here Look too. at this. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> These trailer manufacturers are doing it right. We're sick. We're done with it. I'm done with it. That last trailer, I didn't want to say it, but now I'm going to say it now I'm in this trailer. I'm done with radius showers. You are forbidden to use a radius shower ever again. Look at this. This is how you take a shower. Can you spin around, Matt? I can spin around. <laughs> I can drop it like it's hot, you know? I can Pick up the soap. Yeah, you know, like those radius showers... I'm all like, you know, uh, uh, you know, I'm done with that. This is what it should be. This should be the minimum. I love the shower. I agree, Matt. Keep on going. Oh. All right, here come out. We'll squeeze through. So master bedrooms up here. Yep. Got a little lighting going on right now. This is my favorite part about the bedroom up front. So your standard closet's over here, but they gave you this whole area to put your clothes on this side. Very nice. So instead of just having these little guys over here, you have power outlets in both of them and yep. little places to put your phone. Yep. But sometimes we need more storage, so having that there makes a big difference. For sure, for sure. Standard queen size bed. Cool. Right. And then let, why don't you show us that Passport 221 BH. So, nice little lightweight travel trailer. I was gonna say that, Matt. This passport's only like 5,100 pounds dry. Oh, hey, just tell me, <laughs> shut on, shut on up. You take over. You're, no, she, you're she's right. all like, okay. Matt, Matt, Matt. Matt, I got this. She's like, she's like, hold my beer. Keep hold on going. Hold my beer, watch this. Keep on going. So speaking of beer, here's the oh. place to store all of your beer. Good segue. And a little um, hangout. We don't like to hang out outside. We're camping, right? So yep. cooking, drinks. It's nice to have a place outside. This is a bunkhouse model too. So yep. kids are going to get dirty. They're going to play outside. Let's keep them out here as long yep, as we can. Yep, exactly. Right? Those filthy animals. Those filthy animals. <laughs> nice power awnings. Yep. That'll give you a shady spot out here to hang out. Power stabilizing jacks as well. Oh, that's oh, nice on a lightweight. Oh, this is the Murphy bed. This is the Murphy bed. You want to show us? Yes. Show us how easy it is. I love, that's my favorite part. One. That's it. And then there's two little things that you pop. Thank you, Matt. Get that guy in this one. All right, <laughs> hang on, hold it up. Oh, I got it. Hold it up and drop it down. Woo. Just like that. That's not, now, now that's you're- That's literally it. That's literally it. <laughs> that's all you have to do. And then you do have storage on both sides too. So this is more of an open floor plan, Yep. but it's lightweight. We're 5,100 pounds. Exactly. It's for the person that has that 6,500 pound Canyon or Colorado or Correct. the Ranger who wants a bunkhouse with a slide out that can't support a lot of weight. And then look at that bed, how it flips up for storage. I love that. A lot of people are bringing canoes and bicycles and things like that. So yep. having that entryway door back there, you can just open that up put all your stuff in here and you're good to go cheyenne nobody canoes they kayak canoe? no they kayak kayak canoe. hashtag it let me know down in the comments 
Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you canoe or if you kayak. I'm pretty sure nobody canoes anymore. Are you from Florida, Matt? No, I'm from Maryland. Okay, they things kayak. are different down here. They kayak in Maryland. Okay. <laughs> By the way, I would like to say everything. Um, some, You guys, you're, you're seeing the prices and stuff. That's this weekend only. Come to the Ocala show. Come to the Ocala show or go to generalrv.com. I have a link to get your mat cash. If you see something you like, click your mat cash. And somebody, if you're not close to Florida, somebody from the internet team will reach out to you. And we can sell you this stuff anywhere in the country. Um, but if you are in Florida, come to the Ocala RV show and see Please Cheyenne. Come. We'll be here till Sunday. So. Yes. Okay, one thing that I noticed in the shorter bunkhouses, there's never anywhere to put your kids' clothes. Right. Where do you put them? Where do you put your kids' clothes? Wow. Storage Look anywhere. at how big that is. It's crazy. And yes. you can take this out if you wanted to hang stuff too, so that's removable. Wow. And then let's check out the bathroom. <gasps> okay, we were just talking about showers. Yep. Now see, that is a smaller shower, but still a really good size. It's still a good size. Yeah. I don't feel claustrophobic or nope. like, nope. I can't get around in here. I do have plenty of space. And then you do the skylight to open it up a little bit more. I said you. last time that shower should be the minimum. This one should be the minimum, um, but nothing smaller than this. Nothing smaller than this, I agree. But still, to get that size, it's funny, um, cause that 271 Wildwood, mm -hmm. right, was a lot bigger than this, but this had the bigger shower, you know. So per per capita, that shower for the size of this little trailer, it might be the biggest shower in the industry. You're probably per, right per about that. when you take it and you divide it by the length of the trailer. And uh, some of the open floor plans, they don't have the sink inside the bathroom. The sink yep. will be out here, so everything is in there in one space, which is nice. Very nice, cool. All right, Cheyenne, we're headed over. We're headed over to the next row. Anything you want to say to America? No, thank you guys so much for watching, and please come out and see us this weekend. Perfect. Make sure you say you saw our on Matt's RV reviews. Thanks, Matt. See you later. We'll see you. Going on to the next one, everyone. There's a blood drive today. Okay, so these are some fifth wheels. So here we go, we got a Freedom Express 292 BHD SLE. Very nice. Very nice power awning, frameless windows. Is that George down there? That's me. It's your time to shine. You were too busy during the Jacksonville show. I was busy. Can you show us the Freedom Expresses? Yeah, it'd be my pleasure. So, so Joe, you made you made you made a, a few families' dreams come true yesterday. I did. How many did you sell yesterday? We sold five yesterday. Not we, you, my friend, <laughs> I, I you, my friend. Five. Good job. Yes, yes. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. And I'm happy for the customers as well. You Absolutely. Because, because you know, listen, nobody sells five units without giving fantastic deals. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's what we do. That's uh, there you go. Take good care of you. So show us this Freedom Express. Okay. So this is the Freedom Express 292 BHDSLE. That's a long one. It is a long one. Yes. Um, this is a great unit. Freedom Express is made by Coachman. It has the Asdell composite. We love the Asdell. Which is unbelievable. I keep telling my wife, next time we buy a trailer, it's got to have Asdell. Do you have one now? I don't. We oh, okay. sold it in 2016. Well, what did you have? Uh, well, we had, we had a fifth wheel. Yeah. Tell us what it was. So I went cross country in a fifth wheel from Massachusetts to California to Florida and back up. That is so cool. It was so unbelievable. So you you're a former RVer who's now an RV salesman. That's why I'm here. Yeah. I love it, man. Yeah, it was That's a great, great trip. Was, Show us uh, the inside. Yeah, absolutely. Let's take a look. We saw the outside kitchen, which is fantastic. No, Matt, this has this has great. I love that the fact that these are these are separated and it yes. kind of has like a good stance to it. Yep, I think they're called load equalization axles yeah it definitely helps with you know with sway and it just gives it more durability so yep nice outside kitchen here uh-huh and this has a great place to put a uh a, the griddle which is good for breakfast you can cook eggs bacon george awesome. you know it's not good know. for breakfast it's good for breakfast lunch and dinner of course but <laughs> i'm always thinking breakfast <laughs> here we go <laughs> all right let's take a look aluminum cades construction asdell sidewalls yes now it's a little dark in here but still yeah, very is. nice it is very nice you have a bedroom right up here yep two entrances to the bedroom the dual entry this is beautiful too oh look at that. they did that isn't that cool 
Okay, but... I've seen it in a couple. Yeah, no, no, no. I love this feature, but in here it just doesn't work because the wall is too tight. The wall is too tight. Yep. It still gives you a place to sit and put on your shoes. Yeah. Or, you know, you can kind of put the bed up and get create a little bit extra room. Sofa, U-shaped dinette, and George. Yes. Are you noticing what I'm noticing? What's that? Well, no carpets on yes, the Yes, that's exactly what... I Andrea love that. hates carpet. Yeah. So now I always point it out when there's no carpet on the I slide. I love that. I love that. Very good. This is great. These both turn into beds. The kitchen looks really good here. Solid surface countertops. Look at this, man. Very cool, nice. right? Yeah. Kind of like shaped so the sink can still fit in, but you yeah. can put your utensils. Storage underneath. Mm-hmm. Good sized fridge here. Wow. Yeah. Just just amazing what how far these trailers come. Yeah, it is. Shower really is. tub, womp womp. I know. Mm. I but this is really nice. No slide out in the back bunk no area. Slide out. But you have these three Surprisingly it's it's pretty roomy back here for no slide. Good storage yeah, as well. It feels good. Mm-hmm. Looks like this side's a little bigger than this side, but there's USB ports for the plugs. Yep, TV backer right there and everything. Yeah, absolutely. Cool, show us the Fireplace. next one. Yes, it's the Innoflame. Best of the best. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm excellent. Hello. Hey, you really love your job. Yes, thank you. <laughs> we'll do some good videos. Thank you so much. Okay, so look at this one. Oh, right, another so this is, this a front kitchen, two, but a smaller nine, one. FK, yeah, this is a really cool layout. I've never yeah. seen a small front kitchen like this. With a huge outside kitchen. Big. Look at the size of that fridge. That is awesome. There's a show price. Nice solid steps going up. So this is just like that 270 FK that we looked at over there, but a little bit smaller, a little bit cheaper um coachman that window yeah that is awesome really nice front kitchen setup area you got your table and chairs again with the no carpet i love that they're doing that yeah and look at the the way the recliners are right across from the tv wow i love that yes that's awesome and look at these these recliners are really nice it's the thomas Payne collection i could sit here all day well sit there all day you I sold might. you sold five yesterday you're allowed to take the day off <laughs> I don't think that's pull true. that pull that shoot the yes. parachute bam now i'm never getting up there you go <laughs> there you go yeah oh. these are comfy over here we have the bathroom radius shower just like the last front kitchen womp womp look at that king size bed we do not like the radius showers i know it but if you do want a front kitchen it's what you have to do yeah they do it so they can get get this in comfortably yep um you don't see a king size bed on a unit this size either. Often. Right, right, true. Let's take a look at that yeah, next one. one. More here. Another Freedom Express, and it looks like they're all doing the outside kitchen. Outside kitchen, and which is really nice. Yeah, it's awesome. You know, we 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 don't people who normally they put outside kitchens in bunk units. You know what I'm saying? Right. And couples want outside kitchens as well. Yeah, it makes sense. And a customer just went in there, so let's skip that and let's go yeah. to the toy hauler. Yeah. Howdy. Howdy, howdy. This is another Coachman. This is the Adrenaline. We yes. sell these in Tampa. Yes. These are beautiful. They sure are. Those outside decks. 27 KB. Toy hauler, but still with Asdale because As it's Coachman. Yeah, that's the whole thing. Asdale is well on this. Look at that price. For a toy hauler, $12,000 off. Even in the market that we're in, George. Yeah, this is a great price on this. Because it's not about making the most money. It's about selling the most units. That's right. That's our, you know, we want to make the most dreams come true. You got your individual seats there. Really nice storage. Impossible for short people to get, though. The ramp. That drops down to make the dinette and another sleeping area. It does. And these can also go to the side in case you have something big that needs to come in. Okay. So okay. Sometimes oh, so something that's taller. Oh, yeah. okay. So that's good. And this bed comes down, of course. Yes. Entertainment center right there. Very cool. Yeah. yeah Show us the really uh, bathroom. Is. Hopefully it's a, a nice shower. <laughs> And the verdict is radius. Womp. It's okay. It's okay. 
This toy hauler's not for me, George, but guess what? It is for somebody, right? You're right about that. Okay, king size bed as well. Very nice. And let's take a look at one more toy hauler. This yeah, is a cheaper so one. It is. It is the, is that Heartland Lithium? Yes. 29.9. It's a traditional build. Yep. But it still makes a patio right there. Howdy, fellas. And look at the size of that window. Yeah, you cannot beat that. Wow. Yeah. Look at how, I mean, obviously the door's open, but you don't need lights in here. This nope. is open and bright. That window and all the light colors. Yes. Really pretty. Yep. And that ramp, as you can see, does make a patio. Yep, sure does. Very cool. Now this is for the person who wants to get into the toy hauler space that doesn't want to drop an arm and a leg. That's right. Yeah, it's got a nice ramp here. Yep. Uh, customer was talking about how this would make it easier for them to pull their bike in the way that that's designed. Oh yeah? So I found that interesting. I didn't really know much about it, but. I'm not a biker myself. Yeah, it's got, it's got a nice, a nice uh, level to that ramp. So that's okay. a nice feature. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Great motor. Oh my gosh, two AC units. I know it. In a small trailer like this? Yeah. That's insane. Yep. That's a very good feature, and especially for the 29.9. Uh, this weekend only. This weekend only. Cool. Is there anything else? Any more trailers? Let's take a look at that Ibex while we're sure. here. It's the Ibex 19 THQ QTH. It is the toy hauler Ibex, correct? Yes, sir. Power tongue jack, frameless windows. Still doing the Asdale sidewalls. Oh, wow. Tires. Look at that price. I know. $38,000, $13,000 off. That's, That's a insane. Great price for this unit. It I is. These are really nice. And they're Cars popular they're, right now. Yeah, yep. They really are. And, um, Asdale, and the ramp yeah. still makes a pass. Um, the, the ramp still makes a patio. It sure does. In a small trailer like this. Look at how many D-rings there are on the floor. Yep, and with this open, this would be really bright too. Yep. You know, not a lot of not a lot of stuff going on in here, but yep. this is for the person. Simple little package. Yep, exactly. Got your bedroom right there. This is perfect. Somebody that's you know has a bike, they want to go out to the trails. Yeah, I'd say this is for like a solo. This is Obviously, you can do it too. You know, whatever floats your boat. But yep. I, I would say this is more generally towards the solo enthusiast. Absolutely. But really, really nice. Yeah, this is a great unit, and what a price on this. Right yeah, now. for sure. Well, George, that's it. Um. Awesome. I'm gonna go look at those two. Well, Anything great. you want to say to America? Hey, it was it was great. Um, it was my pleasure doing this with Matt. I love the videos, and uh, come see me in Tampa. I'll take really good care Ocala, for you. Ocala, Ocala. Yes, yeah, see me in Ocala, but also Tampa. If yep. you miss it, then come see me in Tampa. Just yep. ask for George. I'll take good care of you. But yeah, come see me at the show. The show is awesome here. Perfect. Beautiful day. Okay, we got a couple more trailers. See you, George. Thank you, buddy. What's going on? You want to show us the trailer? Or not today? Oh, not right now. Maybe. Okay, it's yeah. all good. Getting ready to try to find a bathroom. There you go. I don't know where they're at though. There's Bailey again. Bailey, you want to take over? Or do we get on Andrea to come on over? You want to show us a trailer or two? Sure. We got to share the love, Bailey. Of course, of course. Andrea from um, Michigan. Yep. What part of Michigan are you from? Birch Run, so I do that right? <laughs> Right around here. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> Wait, uh, sure. Is it nicer weather right here than Birch Run, Michigan? Absolutely. Perfect. Absolutely. The sun is just glorious, shining brightly. Perfect. Why don't you show us this open range? For sure. Definitely. So, beautiful windows. Frameless. Frameless windows. Let's, let's take a look at the outside kitchen. Okay. We'll start back there first. Right. Let's open this baby up. You enjoying yourself this week? I am. It's been a wonderful weekend. So love when I first it. met uh, Andrea, mm -hmm. she said, I love your wife, Andrea. Yes. That was like the first <laughs> thing. And I was like, but what about me? She's like, no, just your wife. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> we share the same name. Yes. It's nice and special. So actually a really nice big fridge for the outdoors here. Uh-huh. So 
So I've got that. You have your skillet burner right there. Yeah. A little bit of, is that like countertop? Ooh, that actually is nice. Oh, it's, it's like, like a, a cutting board. board. Wow. Yeah, very nice. And something that I think is cool is that it's a plumb through sink as well. Oh yeah, we haven't got there yet. Look at you, but yes, yeah, a nice griddle. Yep. Sink, definitely, so plumb through sink. Nice uh, cabinet space up here. Uh-huh. So we got that. Are we going all around? Or? Nope, nope, we're going oh. that way. Something I do want to point out okay. is that it has these uh, lock arms, which uh, makes it super stable when you're at your campsite. Love that. Yep. You don't want to be wiggling around. Yes. Okay. Nice up. Awnings for both of them here for the entire area. length of the unit. You're him. I'm him. <laughs> How are you? We love your YouTube videos. We love your YouTube You're on one right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're already there. Yeah, we're like walking back. We're like, that's him. Burr, 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 burr. Yeah. Here, hold this real quick. Hold this All real right. quick. All right. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I'll take it. I was just in one. I was looking at the... The, the bathroom and yep. you know what you always say i'm like yeah that has it it's a proud poop position <laughs> it is yes, it is yes. it was really good <laughs> yep. very nice to see you to meet you and then there's rob uh, what's up what's up what's up you got it how are you guys rocking and rolling hi rob <laughs> Rob is the uh, he he runs um general rv of ocala assistant ops manager. assistant ops manager you the man you the man cool Let's uh, let's right. continue on the video. All right, for sure. <laughs> As we walk in, or you do the usual yep. video all around. Yep. This is very nice. You got the uh, J Lounge right here. No carpet. Wow, look at that fridge. I love it. I haven't seen a fridge like that in an RV before. There's a couple, but yeah, this is amazing. Amazing. Wow. This is definitely residential. Whirlpool. Look at all of Look at that. that. Look at the organization. Wow. So that's one of my biggest things is that when you get a big fridge like this, you don't know where to put everything. Yep. But this is nice. Very nice. We've got a... They're all oversized appliances. One, two, three burner. Yeah. Um, and right here we're using Suburban. Yep. Um, nice. Wow. Nice oven. Uh-huh. Like the white? Yeah. It's like an off-white uh, with the grain in it. It's very nice. Even the little cabinets here. So we've got one here. Yeah, nice. Thank you. Thank You're you. You're welcome. Oh, I thought it was a cabinet. Yeah. But it's a, uh, a little a pantry for canned goods. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Got your TV and fireplace right here. Definitely. Now, this is always tough when I show this unit because it's really dark in here. But it's still pretty big. You got your table that drops down to make a bed. You got this bed, and you you have a half bath just for the kids in here. Let's open up this window. There this you go. Actually, it's a nice big window. You have another kind of daytime lounge, bunk over the cab here, and a half bath. Half bath. That's insane. Definitely is. And then there's where you would mount your TV. Well, the storage area too. Also, just big cupboard space. Actually, mm -hmm. that's nice too with a hanging yeah. racker there. For sure. And then you've got the drawers here. Yeah. Awesome. And then we have a master bedroom up there. Oh, another Here's bathroom. And cupboard space. Oh, wow. Very nice. Uh, hi, we're doing a video here. Yeah, no, I'm Matt. back. He's yeah. back. He's back. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. That's a nice big closet in there. Yep. And then your Washer bathroom. Washer dryer hook up over here for this one. In a bunkhouse travel trailer. Woo, woo, woo. That is crazy. And then you got your uh, shower and toilet and everything. Hey, Master, check this out right here. Yeah. You got a nice. Uh, oh, look at that. Down here where sorry, you can go sorry. through and you can put a. You can put your cat litter box down there. Yeah. You can put your laundry in there. Yeah. You can access stuff from, uh, you know, just another little hiding place in there. So nice little area there. Very cool. Yeah. This is a nice big camper. You know, you're going about 10,100 pounds. Yep. You're uh, sitting right at 40 feet. Yep. Uh, you got some nice size tanks on here, you know, because it's a big unit. And how tall are you? How tall am I? Yeah. I'm about 5'10". Okay. So look at how, yeah. that is insane. That yeah. has to be 6'8". 
right? It's pretty tall, yeah. I yeah. See somewhere in there. Very tall ceiling. Yeah. The double ACs. Yep, whisper quiet. Whisper quiet, absolutely. Uh, got a nice big fridge in here. Oh, yeah. I showed you that. Yep, yep. Got some pretty accent lighting when you turn the lights on, but unfortunately, we don't have any power right now. It's real nice. Yeah. Cool. Let's check out the next one. All right, awesome. Thanks. Thank you. Are you selling the wild Salem as well? Yes. Take us down there. Where you at? We're going taking Salem? a look at the uh, Salem. Absolutely. Thanks, Andrea. You're welcome. Have a good see day. You. Thank you. Make too. sure you guys stop by and see Andrea. Definitely. There's John. What's up? Look at that belt buckle, man. <laughs> what the heck's going on there? <laughs> that was the first thing I noticed when I met John for the first time. I was like, what type of belt buckle is that? It's a nice belt buckle though. Thank you, my father gave it to me. Awesome, I love that. My dad gave me this Leatherman. So, I like belt buckles. Family's important. It is, it is. Anything you wanna say? Come see John in finance at General RV. Well, John, for those of you who don't know, well, nobody knows, John will be in a video in about, what, two or three weeks we were talking about? Yes, I'm oh. excited. Cool. Real excited. We're excited to see you there. Heck yeah. Cool, show us this wild All one. All right, Matt. so we got a Salem. By oh, Salem, there. yes, sorry. This is the 36 VVDS. Yes. So you're hooked up for solar, you're ready to go. You look in there, you got some storage space in there. Oh, wow. Right, right inside the second bedroom there. You got your electric jacks, okay? You got two entrances here, sliding glass doors. I love that? the glass door, yep. So this is kind of right in between the um, a destination type trailer and a uh, and a regular trailer you can pull. It's like a hybrid. Yes, yep. exactly. Yep. So, you know, if you still want to move around and you just don't want to stay in one spot, this is the this is the trailer for you right here. Yep, for sure. So it still gives you that uh, option. So you're gonna have some nice LED lights up in here. Uh-huh. Okay. And then you got your speakers down low. And what's nice about this is Salem, they were thinking when they built this, normally when you have speakers up in here, a lot of times it's gonna shoot that noise over here. Yep. But when you have it down here where you're gonna be sitting at, you can have it night. You can have it turned down low. You're not blaring your neighbors out. So they're real thoughtful when they did this. And you'll see as we go in, they got a lot more stuff they go thoughtful on. Uh, so the second entrance goes into your bedroom. Let's check it out. Yeah, let's go take a look. So wow. Your bedroom is on a slide. Wow. Got a little extra room, right? You sure do. This is insane. Yeah. So you can run a king size bed in here if you want. Okay. Okay, you got room, you got some shelves there. You got the port portals there for your phone. Mm hmm Okay. Um, you still got a little bit of uh, storage down here. A little bit, I yeah. call that a lot. Salem's real awesome with their uh, with their storage bins. They do a real good job putting these in here and, and really giving you some extra space. I'll show you more when we get out here. But uh, if you notice here, something you don't see in a lot of RVs anymore is closet space. For sure. Yeah. We got, got your own AC back here. Okay, okay. And uh, also pass through bathroom. Yes. And if you notice, you know, like I said, I'm 5'10", 350 pounds. I've got room yeah. in front of me, you know. Do you so, know what we call that? What's that? That's a prime pooper position. That's it, prime pooper. There you go. And then look at that shower. That's yeah, a very that's a big, big shower. shower. Yes, sir. And then over here we have the dinette with the Versa Lounge. The Versa Lounge. Very nice feature. So this is exciting here, you guys. This is a... Uh, revolutionary yes so you got basically you have three different positions um you can put this in okay we got the dinette the chase lounge and the full bed right i love that and, and, it, and it's really simple and really easy it's nothing complicated that you have to do um i'm going to demonstrate something i'm going to show you how to turn it into a dinette real quick okay let's go so um if you want to go dinette you take these off here mm -hmm. get this out of here now these are all velcroed down, see that? So they they stay in place. Move that over a little bit. I'm gonna take this. You got a couple little latches down in here. And you simply stick it down there like that. Yep. Boom, dine that, that fast. Wow, that fast. Yeah. That was awesome. Yep. Pretty, pretty neat, pretty easy. Nice kitchen. Yeah, so you got a nice big residential fridge here. That's all electric also. Nice big fridge. Wow. You know, your basic grill, you got room for your air fryer and your coffee maker. Uh-huh. Because air fryer is just the way to go nowadays, so. Yes, sir. Um, nice sink, nice little faucet. If 
somebody's in here and they pass out on you, you can give them a little squirt. Oh yeah. Up. And I love this front glass uh, door opening yes, right there. Beautiful. Cool. So we got a nice big area here. We can put a 50 inch TV. Yep. Got your fireplace, your Furion sound bar. Perfect. That's 5,000 BTUs of electric heat right there. So save your money, you know, on the propane, just use the, gas, use the electric there. Um, you can turn that on heat, or you can just have the uh, the ambience of just changing the color on it, you know? So it's pretty For nice. Sure. But if you come back here, this is another really cool thing that uh, they did here. So as you see, you have basically another living room here if you want, you could call it that. Um, a game center, adults, video game. If you yep. sitting with you, or the kids, this could be their little area back here. But um, you got your phone charging part there. You can put the uh, TV right up against the wall right there. Yes, sir. And then, um, so nighttime comes, and you're ready to lay down. Yeah. You got another set of adults or friends with you or older children. What do they do? They do this right here. Holy smokes. It's like now, the transformers of RVs. Now the couch becomes a queen size bed there. Wow. How about that? But what if we need to sleep more than just an extra oh, person? Oh, well, we can handle that too. <laughs> nice. So these are, you know. Look at that. This is 300 pounds up here, you know. Now, I don't know how well a 300 pound man's going to fit in there. I can show you guys, but uh, yeah, maybe better not. Well, <laughs> anyhow, we'll lay this bunk down too. Look at that. But this is basically set up for teenagers, but it's safe and it's going to hold, uh, you know. Yeah. It'll hold some serious weight, so. For sure. Yeah, I, I love the multi-purpose. Plenty of room there. Awesome awesome yeah so two acs can't beat it and uh this is your unit for uh for driving around but having the big oh the panoramic windows we yes show them that. yes How about yes those windows you guys very big and nice if you got a nice spot to set up and you got a lake back there and you yep. got your friends out front or whatever this is a trailer for you here it sure is yeah well thank you so much what store are you Absolutely. out of i'm out of uh gt9 canton ohio canton ohio oh I O right Perfect. by the Canton Airport, yeah. All right, anything you want to say to America? Yes, thirty thousand nine ninety nine. You can take this baby home. That's that's the only thing that matters. Let's I love it. it. All right, thank you so much. All right, now we're checking out the Prime Time Avenger. It's the twenty six BK. You want to show us? Or are you sure. busy? No, let's go. You ready? Yeah. What's going on, Jason? What store I'm, are you out of? I'm out of Birch Run, Michigan. Oh, just... but Andrea is from Birch Run, Michigan. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Show us there, the unit. There can be two of us. The... There is just the two of us. Okay, okay. So what's going on here? Avenger 26BK. Um, really good floor plan for not having a slide. Yep. Lightweight and yep. still having a separate bedroom, a couch, and a dinette. With? an amazing price point correct so that is awesome 16.9 um avenger really stepping up the game of how they're doing their construction um they're, they're doing it right yeah um coming in under five thousand pounds wow you know for a 30 foot overall length trailer tandem axle um you still get the nice solid steps and a nice outdoor kitchen perfect show us the inside coming inside we'll start off the bedroom you do have a full walk around queen bed you have nice hanging cabinet storage really wide on each side as well as some cubbies up here on top to store some extra stuff as well as a big under bed storage cubby that is going to go through your front pass through so if you do have some cargo that's stuck in the middle yep you can actually grab that from the inside of sudden climbing through your pass-through storage yep like i said separate wall on okay. a no slice trailer so you still get that privacy if you got people sitting with you because you do have the nice bunks in the back um, you are going to get a couch that faces towards where you would mount your TV right here on the back wall. You can do a 110 TV or a 12 volt TV so you can run that on your battery. Wow. Which is nice. Yes. This couch also does go into a little bed like a jackknife sofa, kind okay. of like a futon. Um, then you got your nice little booth dinette, plenty of storage above here. Yep. Nice big sink, stainless steel sink. Yes. As well as some more cupboards and drawers down here. Like I said, a no slide unit at this price point, this weight, this much storage, still having a separate bedroom. And I don't feel claustrophobic. No. It's nice. No. And I mean, we're two bigger guys, and me and you in here. And... Hey, hey, speak for yourself. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> So we are upgraded to the Everchill Big 12 Volt Fridge. So this is going to be a 10 cubic instead of your 8 cubic. Um, what's awesome about these, they cool down a lot faster. Yes. You're going to be able to get this cold in about 2 hours uh -huh. instead of 24 hours. Um, and just way bigger. Look at the size of your freezer. Yeah, for sure. Compared to your dual power fridge. 
And then right back here, you're going to have your nice single bunks. There are USB ports, top and bottom. So nice. And then I'm going to shut the door. Got a little sink right there, little medicine cabinet, and then the shower and toilet. This is, this is where all the magic happens. So I'll show you. I'm 5'11", 260 pounds, bigger guy. I fit in the shower fine. Yeah. They do give you a shower curtain, so if you need a little bit more elbow room, it For does sure. kind of curve out here, so you do have some room. Yeah. Decent toilet placement. It is plastic, so we got to switch it out with porcelain. But it's nice. Uh, overall, for the price, a great entry-level travel trailer for families who want something, who doesn't want to slide out. That's nice. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> cool. Let's show us the next one. Okay. We're running short on time, so that one also has punks. Let's check out that one down there. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, the look, yeah, let's check out the lacrosse. Okay, about 36 feet and weighs 3311 RK. Um, cylinder half ton towable for, for a lot of the newer trucks. 8,000 pounds and lacrosse just redid the interior. They look phenomenal. Wow. Um, you'll see from the outside big windows on the slide, which is nice that your dinette's here so you can look at your campsite. Um, people are out here. You want to be able to look on your side, which is really nice to be able to do. Once again, nice steps, wide entry steps. Yeah. I can see the uh, inside from outside, and wow, does it look different and nice and bright. Oh my gosh. There is, guys, there is no power here at the show. Look at this. This is insane. So you got big windows on all your slides. They all do open. Um, there are some out there that don't open. So you have this whole entire window can slide. All these windows on this side can slide. They put mirrors everywhere um, just to make it look really big. Light yeah. colors. Good size, tall slides. Like I said, I'm 5'11". I can still stand under these slides without hitting my head. Okay. Um, beautiful kitchen. Yeah. I mean, counter space galore. Nice big cooktop. I like the contrasting countertop as well. Yeah, absolutely. Once again, you'll see the stainless steel sink, stainless steel appliances, stainless steel cooktop, uh, door pulls. They did a really good job pulling together this interior. Oh, you are going to see... What do we got going on here? Uh-oh, technical difficulties. There we go. There you go. You are going to see the 10 cubic fridge in this as well. So mm -hmm. you've got this nice, big, beautiful kitchen. you got plenty of room for food storage. And then once again, cabinets galore everywhere. Wow. Big pantry on this side. Yep. Drawers, cupboards, overhead cabinets. You've got room for everything in here. This is insane. It's like, are we in a travel trailer or are we in a fifth wheel, it's you know? A, it's a tiny house. I table mean. and chairs. Freestanding table and chairs, beautiful light fixtures. Theater seats, everything. Nice big shower and toilet. And then this bathroom, or uh, this bedroom's nice. East West bed slide. Um, positives about this. Obviously, plenty of walk here in here. You can yep. change easily. You are going to get a true dresser, so there's a his and her side for um, any of your extra clothes. There are some pretty good sized cabinets for socks, underwear, whatever you need. Now, you kind of have two closets in here. So you're okay. going to have this big shelving unit. Um, I know if anybody's like me, my fiance is going to get the whole big front closet to herself. I'm going to get this small one yep. over here. Yep. This is going to be a king size bed. So once again, we're still in the luxury line trailer. This does have the two ACs because of the heat down here in Florida. Yes, sir. You know, look, just, just super big closet. And then what's nice here is that they're gonna give you this little access panel to get to your wow. front pass-through. Yeah. Um, a lot of people are using this like a laundry shoe. Yep. So what you're gonna do is take your laundry hamper, put it to the back of your pass-through storage, and you can throw your dirty clothes down there so you don't have them laying around in the trash bag somewhere. So really convenient. Um, once again, you're gonna see same countertops that are in the kitchen or being here. The This interior all the way through is just gorgeous. Cool. I love it, man. Yeah. It's a, I love the redesign that uh, Primetime did with the lacrosse. Oh, very nice. Cool. And, uh, and let's check out the uh, the uh, Springdale. Springdale. So yep. Keystone Springdale. Um, thing with Keystone that's really good about them is that they're one of the few companies that are going to do a three year structural warranty. This is their 285TL. Um, it is oh. going to be kind of more of your couple's coach. It's going to have a lot of the. Uh, I think there's somebody in there. People in here. We'll yeah, we'll skip it. We'll skip it. Okay. We're running short on time. 
but uh yeah we love apex so apex 265 rbss big thing about apex you're in here is about asdell yes behind the fiberglass there's a product called asdell in place of luon it's a lot lighter and since they've been using it there's never been a case of delamination so none of those bubbles coming off the side of the coach it's a product that won't deteriorate mold um do anything susceptible to water actually their their coat they give us coasters of the product just to prove how well it deals with water yeah nice outsource outdoor kitchen you are going to get a grill with this one once again the nice solid step entry steps love it this is a nice uh rear living couples coach this was a rear bath uh, that's what i meant yeah. <laughs> nope no problem i mean um, i mean maybe maybe it is rear living <laughs> hey, wherever you want to you live. come down to florida and you get some tijuana flats <laughs> it is a rear living there no. you are so this one the big, big thing about this big big bathroom yeah um i'm not gonna steal your thunder so you no 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 please, have, please. Have a, have a seat, do my yes so and you gotta say it ppp right yeah this is a prime poop position prime and then go ding ding so we'll do it do it this is a prime poop position. No, 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 with like some, oh. Oh, okay, this is a prime poop position. Bing! Nice. So once again, 5'11", big dude, plenty of room here. You do get this nice corner mounted shower. Yeah. And then you are gonna get a nice little linen cabinet storage in here. Very now, nice. if you're looking at this apex as something you're interested in, you might not get this exact interior. So they're right in between the interior change. So if you do like this one, we are here till Sunday. Yeah. Come grab this one. The Good. ones that are gonna be coming in here later, um, they're gonna have different surrounds on the slides, different color furniture. Um, still gorgeous, but if you do really love this one, come to the show in Ocala. We will yeah. give you the best deal possible. Good, good to know the changes too. So you'll see couch facing your nice entertainment center. Um, you are gonna still have a nice DVD player, speakers out here in the front, and then once again, cabinets all over the place now this one they did give, give us the option of the dual power fridge yep. it is a little bit smaller than 10 cubic but the benefit of this one is you can run it on propane um, so you're not going to need a consistent power source so for your boondockers this is a big positive and then once again even though it's a rear bath they did a great job at the kitchen giving this little flip up counter space. They're gonna give you the hard covers for your sink. So if you are only gonna use half the sink, you still have a good amount of counter space. And look at what's right by your head. Oh, America. There you go. Hell yeah. <laughs> so once again, big overhead cabinets. Yep. Storage everywhere in this. And then it Side looks like a pretty nice bedroom back there. Yeah. That's walk around. So you'll see walk around queen bed. Right, look at that y'all. You get the nice big window in the front, let in some natural light. There's nice. a nice shade over here if you wanted the dark down, take a midday nap. Nice big hanging cabinets left and right sides. Still have the overhead cabinets above. And then once again, still an immense amount of underbed storage. Yeah. You are gonna have 110 outlets and USB ports on both sides uh -huh. with a nice size table. So if you do have a CPAP machine, perfect place to put it. Or if you just have a lot of e-readers, tablets, cell phones, lay all your stuff out here. Perfect. All right, let's check out that uh, Dutchman Astoria right there. Man, we have a lot of trailers here. We're almost an hour in. There's a lot. So Dutchman Astoria, once again, this still has your outdoor kitchen. Yes. This is going to come with power stabilizer jacks, power tongue jack, and nice big entry steps. This is their 2903BH. Okay. It's going to be about 6,800 pounds. Says it sleeps 10. Um, so let's go hop right in. Yeah, I love the light colors in here. Light colors. Look at the floors. Wow, yeah. Super detailed and nice. Got this woven style floor. Nice big U-shaped dinette. They do give you the big drawers in here, which yeah. is nice. So stuff's not getting lost wow. in here. Wow, yeah, that is big drawers. And then you'll see under the booth dinette, it's just open. So instead of having to take stuff apart, you can just Smart. reach back there, grab some stuff. Smart. Still a huge kitchen. They're giving you pop-up outlets. So if you do need all this space, you can put that away and use it. Hi, Caleb. Hi, how's you it with, going? You with customers? Yes, sir. Come on in. All right. Hello. Hi. I think I saw you on YouTube. Yes. <laughs> yes, I have. Nice to see you guys. Thank All right. Saw an apex. Let's check out a spirit then. That's part of the thing with live, man. We can only. We'll, we'll do it. Perfect. 214 RBX. So once again, we're back into your, your coach and stuff with Azel. So yes. preventing the water damage. This is 5,000 pounds, still a tandem axle trailer, and you are going to get the nice salad steps. There's an outdoor kitchen in That's there. That's silly. Sign, sign is getting in the way. The Dango Cala people. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Great people. What's going on? Hey, how we doing? Rock and rolling. Yeah. Are, are you the spirit rep? Yes, sir. 
Come, come freestyle right. with us. Yeah, let's take a look. So, I'm not sure if you've ever seen my videos. I have. I don't like when the factory reps try to sell their product because the, they're, they're, they're my normal reviews. This episode isn't a review. We're going over everything. So, uh, sell us this pen. Yeah. I mean, no, I mean, not, no, no. <laughs> sell us this travel trailer. Yeah. Talk to us. Yeah. Make it seem like the best ever. All right. Well, let's start off right up front here. I don't yep. know if you guys are aware of what we do at Spirit, uh, but under the bed, you know, a lot of times there's maybe some storage under there, uh, but a lot of times it's kind of some dead space. We want to do something cool with that. Um, so we finished it off. We added a lot of storage. We added two 80 pound struts. I love that. Yeah. So it lifts up almost like the hood of a car. Um, full walk-in bed. Look at Once that. Once again, 511. I can stand over most all this. I yeah. Mean, really, it's a uh, it's a second seating area. Almost. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So uh, that's been a hit for us, uh, us at Spirit here. Uh, we're really excited about that. It is a full 60 by 80 residential queen uh, as well with that front panoramic window. Um, so it really opens up the bedroom there. Awesome. Um, other than that, this is a great couples coach, big oversized U-shaped dinette. Uh, this will convert uh, into a bed as well. Uh, but Get around there, please. <laughs> Keep on talking. Yeah, definitely. But no, a huge, huge <laughs> oversized U-shaped dinette. We can all sit in here comfortably. Yeah, this is nice. Yeah. No, and like this is good because like we're all you know bigger guys that you know people can right. see. Mm -hmm. You know, um, he's fitting in the back comfortably. I've got plenty of room on both yeah. sides. Oh man, <laughs> my, 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 my shirt is shrinking. No, <laughs> no, really nice dinette right there. You got all three windows on the slides. So you can open them all yep. up. Nice cross Good ventilation. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Pretty um, decent kitchen for a small travel trailer as well. Yeah, absolutely. Nice size uh, bathroom in the back here, the full <laughs> width of the coach. Yeah, yeah. most important. America. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very nice, light and bright. We did lighten up the colors this year. Uh, seems like a lot of people are kind of wanting that. So really lightened everything up, brightened it up and kind of opened things up. And something that I like about the Spirit is how it's kind of more box shape, right? And that's how you're able to get that lift up bed and mm -hmm. everything. Yeah. Is this an integrated wireless charger? Yeah, so that comes with all Spirits. That's gonna be okay. a wireless phone charger. So you literally, you just set your phone on that um, and that will, uh, you know, will start charging for you. Awesome. There's one thing you didn't pull, point out on Spirit that I love. It's such a small thing, but if you can't, your couple, um, me, I'm the guy who's shut down the trailer before I go to sleep. You always have all your lights on in your bedroom. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, then you gotta shut them off, go to sleep. You're tripping over your own bed. I've seen it. Is it in every one? Yes. They yeah, put the switch feature, right yeah. here. So um, if you're the guy who sleeps on this side, once you're ready to go to sleep, you flip this switch. It'll shut off all the lights in the bedroom. I love that. Yeah, and you are gonna get you know nice reader lights on each side. But this is a big thing for me because I've done it plenty of times. Yep. Trailer's dark. I gotta walk from the back to the front tripping over the dog bowls. It's nice to be able to have a light right above your bed. And it's funny that you mentioned how it's a little thing. My opinion, the big things don't make a difference. Mm -hmm. Nobody cares about the eye beams. Hang on, some people care about the eye beams, <laughs> right? Nobody cares about the eye beams. Nobody, nobody cares about the six inch off center, the two and a half inch si thick sidewalls. My opinion, it's those little things yeah. like that, like, like that. this. All these extra yeah. drawers. Just these little things that Nobody can think of. You right. can't you can't go to college and be an engineer and be like, oh well I think this will work because I'm an engineer. No, you gotta be a camper. You have to know how bad it sucks to try to put your shoes on in a tight bedroom. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You have to know how much it sucks to turn off every single light before you go to bed right in that kill switch it's the right. little things that make things special yeah and spirit does really well with that you know little things place to put your sink covers up and out of the way sink covers true that's a example. man <laughs> man it's kind of like i set you up there yeah beer over there <laughs> yeah. america yeah. everything uh motion sensor floor lights at the base of the bed um in the really? bathroom you know oh. you want to get up in the middle of the night uh run to the restroom real quick and not wake up everyone else in the, in the camp. wow i didn't even know you guys did that yeah so all those little things that we're trying to hit on um and you know just things that make sense right. um and that you know make a difference awesome well, thanks so much, yeah, Jake. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Jason. Thanks again. Um, yeah. Hey, this is your moment. Anything you want to say to America? Uh, nothing to America. I mean, all my people in Michigan. Spring's coming, I think. <laughs> Mommy is like, yo, Alabama, <laughs> Maryland, New Jersey, my you're out. from the north. <laughs> no. Spring, baby's coming. Where, where are you else? from in Michigan? I'm from Birch Run. Where's that? So, you're like here. Bling. Oh, Ish. there you go. You so, Michigan uh, people. I'm here and I'm enjoying the sun. Uh, the show's amazing. Um, other than that, stay happy. 
keep camping. Come keep see going. Jason and Birch run Michigan or at an RV show. Anything you want to say? Um, it's your moment too. Yeah, shout out to General RV. Um, these guys put on a great show. And shout out to uh, everyone in Indiana, I guess. That's where I'm from. There you so go. I'm also there you go. North, starting to warm up, so we're, we're ready for summer. Perfect, yes. Right. Us too. Thanks yeah, so much. Yeah, thank you. What's up? All right, looks like we got one more row here. All right, we got the little stuff now. Here's a little Coachman Clipper, 17 FQS. Very nice. Nice little slide out. We've seen this on the show. Really nice and basic, but you get a lot of pack for the punch for the money. So nice. Then this one is the Forest River Salem FSX. Oh, hello. Hey, Smiley. How's it going, man? You want to tell us a little bit about this real quick? Sure. It's my uh, lightest and uh, perfect for SUV towable, only 3,000 pounds. I love it. Little baby bunkhouse. Yep, little baby bunkhouse. How are you doing this weekend? Fantastic. Good, good. Good. Oh, well, how'd you get the nickname Smiley? I have no idea. <laughs> That's funny. Just a nice little compact trailer with uh, the bunks over the cabs. No slide outs. Very, very popular unit. What's been popular during the shows this year? Um, I mean, we've been selling 178s and 179s. Oh, yeah? Like, like crazy? Style. Yeah. Especially the 178s. I can't build those fast enough. What sells better, Salem's or Wildwood's? I mean, they sell 50 Are, are they yeah. exact 50-50? Yeah. Cool. Cool. I mean, you guys have more locations with Wildwood than you do Salem, so. Oh, okay. But with, down here, Salem. In general, Wildwood. you do better numbers with Wildwood. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, you yeah, know, I, I always think it's fascinating, like, like, like for motorhomes, Windsport and Hurricane. Yeah. How Hurricane sells better than Windsport. Gotcha. I think it's just a better name, you know? But I like both Salem's and Wildwood's. Yeah. Yeah, they're virtually tied nationwide. Cool. All right. We're on our way. Thank you. Yeah, buddy. Apex Nano, it's a 203 RBK. Little Murphy bed action going on. Nice little slide out. Storage right there. Nice kitchen. Man, we are almost out of battery. I, well, I must say, I am using the new GoPro 9. And it is doing a pretty good job. I mean, we've been recording for an hour and seven minutes. And it is doing a great job. There's the Springdale. And we're going to wrap it all up with Nicole down there. Hi, Nicole. We're going to end the video with you. You're the chosen one. Uh-oh. Bob's calling me. Yeah, Bob. Tell a little video disclosure. I took my mask off so you could hear me. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> cool. We, we got a little backlash on that last time. Show us like, this unit. Alrighty. Um, Matt, I think I told you this before that if I were to buy an RV, yes. um, I drive a small SUV and I'm always like, what could I do? What If I were to buy an RV today without changing my tow vehicle and not doing anything, which one would I buy? This yep. is it. The there Ibex. You go. I love the Ibex. Everybody will, know, everybody will tell you about that. Awesome. Um, super lightweight, uh, like 3,700 pounds on this Ibex. Look at these tires. Very cool. Off the grid looking off, and everything. It is, absolutely. It's ready to go off the grid. Asdale sidewalls. Asdale sidewalls, solar panels standard on this. Those off-road tires are standard on this also. Yep, so show us the inside. Sure. I know about them. Very simple and clean looking in here. Like, yes. I'm a little particular, so like this is just clean. There's no room for clutter at all. I like that there's a sofa instead of a dinette. You get stuck inside when it's raining. I want to just be able to chill and lay out and not have to sit up or be stuck in bed. This has a central vac in it. No carpet. It has a central vac. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Goes right in here. Convection microwave. So nice. Um, there's a safe in here. There's a safe in all the Ibexes too. For all your money. Yeah, absolutely. For all the money. Or the Bars of gold. Yeah, absolutely. That's it.
And then we have a bathroom right here, radius shower. And then a coal. I love it here. Let's wrap it up with the R Pod. Okay, let's check it out. I love the R Pod too. I love all the small stuff. Yeah, well, it's exciting because um, it's easy. It's small. It's number one selling small trailer. We just became a dealer for them. I love this model specifically too with the Murphy. Uh -huh. this, is the, this is the R-Pod 193. Yep. There is a grill that goes out here. Say, um, the grill and the table, same thing with the Ibex. Yep. This is you need to have two seating areas in here. This one yeah, is so you need all together too. So there is the sofa and you get the, the three seat sofa um, when the Murphy's not down. Yep. Single and bunks here also. Little pantry area, uh -huh. central back in this one too. Double closet. Microwave, same yep. thing. And this shower is so big for how small this this unit is. Yeah. The shower is big. Well, I'm really glad impressed. that they didn't include the sink in there because the sink just takes up space. Exactly. It's true. You don't need it. Well, Nicole, that's it. We are like an hour and ten minutes into the video. Yeah. Anything awesome. else you want to say to America? Um, come see me this weekend. And um, that's it. That's all I got. Thank you, you absolutely, everybody, weekend. so much for watching. Make sure you guys tune in tomorrow when we're going over all the fifth wheels in the show. Thank yeah. you so much.